So I know, like me, you got to a point, man, where you were kind of over it, like just kind of burnt and uh, started pursuing other stuff, stuff that maybe you had, uh, had enjoyed your whole life, like, you know, the whole motorcycle thing. And, like, is that what, what was going on with that? Like, what was your, I know I've heard all sorts of bullshit stories from bullshit people, but you know, I, without talking to you, I don't know shit. And so, you know. Well, I mean, as far as, there's a couple things going on during that time where it had just gotten to the point where I was doing everything for everyone else. And once I lost that ability to be doing things for myself, it just took away a lot of the fun. All of a lot the of the passion that was there of what I was doing isn't there anymore if you're fucking having someone else make call the shots. And also, uh, you know, drug addiction played a really big part in that. You know, I started, started to where, you know, recreational drug use is one thing, especially traveling, being young, having a shit ton of money and a lot of friends who like to party. On your money. Yeah. You know, that's how humbly it starts. But then when you're, you know, you turn your party into a problem, it happens pretty quick. At the same time, trying to juggle a relationship and a marriage and an addiction, you know, that's where and with the with the drug aspect in my life, like with snowboarding, my life was so public and like it was so, uh, you know, it. Like I said, I was doing the thing I was doing that I loved to do for everyone else, but it was such a public aspect of life that when I would get high, that was for me. You know, that was that was something that I did for Jamie. Could have for myself that no one could touch. And it was a good opportunity to kind of get away from all that shit and all those people asking and taking from me. So that's when I kind of took the opportunity to chill out for a while. I thought I was gonna get married, thought I was gonna start a family, but then at the same time juggling a drug addiction, those things don't jive Doesn't too work. well together. So it, you know, battling that was the biggest challenge that I've ever had in my life. Seems like uh, life is good for my boy over there. He's a little injured right now, but uh, he can't hold down greatness, man. He really can't. Feel me? Can out? <laughs> <laughs>